Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. I apologise if I sound a bit like congested or if I cough because I'm currently dealing with that January cold that seems to be going around and I have a pretty bad cough but um I thought this week I would talk about an updated commonplace system because it has changed um yeah so like if you follow me on my instagram you probably were witnessing the slight chaos that was ensuing so i guess i'll start <clears throat> at the beginning so i'll put this aside for now as you all know i've been using field notes for my commonplace books and that was working really well i started like from february or march of last year i saw megan and rhiannon with them and i thought it'd be really cool to use them so when i started this one i thought i'd do something different and i completely changed up my key and did something really experimental which is I did a thematic key so instead of being like one colour represents a quote or one colour represents I don't know like ephemera or whatever <laughs> like I, I wanted to just do it in themes because I figured most of what I write is quotes anyway so it'd be interesting to swap them into a theme and although I didn't stick with this it really helped me um i would like if you're struggling with common placing and like what to do or how to use it i would really recommend doing something very experimental because even if you don't stick with it there's something about pushing yourself outside the box that really helps you I don't know, just find your feet. Um, like doing this thematic key, even though I didn't stick with it, I ended up finding a key that really worked for me. So about halfway through, I changed up my key and I did amend this one just a bit, so I'm gonna explain it, but I really loved commonplacing with this book. Um, this is by the way, the Heartlands edition. And as a result, I started this on like the 14th of December and finished it on the 31st. So I finished this entire book in two weeks. And that has never happened before. Like usually my other commonplace books last me like a month, sometimes up to three months because I just wouldn't commonplace as much. But like it was truly in this book that I found a love for commonplacing and because I loved it I was doing it way more and as a result these books started to feel a bit too small and I really figured it out in this one so in this one like this key is like the key I'm using now so I'll explain it actually wait no I'll explain it in my current commonplace book, but this one, like, <clears throat> I also have, like, a thermal printer because, um, there's this company called Moonbin. This video isn't sponsored, and actually, like, none of the content I put out regarding the printer was sponsored. I was just gifted it, but they gifted me a thermal printer, which means I can print out certain things, um... Because it's thermal, I can only print in black and white. Um, but it means I can print. <laughs> so I've been doing that a lot more. And so the combination of printing with writing means I'm just filling up my pages extremely fast and really quickly. And it was about... Um, 
if I'm like halfway when because I didn't finish this one um but like I realized that for example I started this on the 31st of December currently it's the 14th of January but I would say about around like the 7th of January so like within essentially a week I had filled up that much which means that again this book would last me about two weeks and that is not like how um it just wasn't practical to think that if I was finishing one book every two weeks then I'd be having like I don't know like I did it the maths, but a lot of these small notebooks per year, and I didn't really like the sound of that, like it was really overwhelming. And also, when I finished this book, for example, I really didn't want to part with it, like I had become attached to the words inside. And then also with this one, I was like, I don't want to part with it either, like I really like the words and the thought that as soon as I finish, which would be relatively quickly, I'd have to archive it. I didn't want to do that, so I thought, okay, I need a book that's actually a book that I can come and place in. And that led me down this, like, chaotic spiral on Instagram, and I asked people to recommend, and I think everyone who did, and it's just really overwhelming because there's so many notebooks out there and so many choices and I was being picky because I wanted squared paper, I didn't want it to be like an insert, I wanted it to be a book and so like there's so many options and then in the end I was like okay I'm gonna choose a, I think I was settling for like a Midori B B6 Slim and then I ended up going for a Midori A6 just because it's like not that much bigger than like a field notes in terms of like height so I can still like carry this around without it adding too much bulk and it's relatively like compact but I went with this one. So this is the Midori or MD A6 uh, square notebook and I got it from Miso Paper and Barbara at Miso Paper is so sweet. She always gives um, like washi tape samples and or like pet tape samples. With my order I also got this roll of washi tape I just thought this was really cute and I like browns so I thought this was a pretty like basic but necessary <laughs> washi tape to have in the collection so what I bought was the MD A6 grid notebook I also got the cover for it and The cover is like, I don't know if you can see that, but like it pokes out a bit and that doesn't really bother me, but I guess if you're like super perfectionist, that might. I tend to not let these things bother me, but I love this notebook. It's just so nice to know that I have a lot more pages to work with and that I can write as much as I want without worrying that I'm filling it up too quickly. So, um, this is the front. This is the like archive labels that come with the Midori books. This is a Megan Rian Halloween sticker, as is that, but that's not a Halloween one. And that is also a Megan Rian sticker. This is the idea is also comes with like the Midori books. This is, I think that's an, hmm? 
Oh, I can't find it, but I think this cat washi well, is like an MD washi tape. And then two star stickers. <laughs> and when you open it up. So. <clears throat> I have this um, Megan Rian and Gloomy. This is the notebook one about like indexing and organising books and finding comfort in the pages. And then I kind of like these are the index dots I use. I don't know where they're from. They were gifted to me by Bronte from Bronte Plans and um, I kind of just put them in like here. And then when you flip over, you get the like standard awkward page and I just put like if found please return to with my details right and below. And then you have the key. So um this like frame thing and this came with like freebies that uh Barbara from Miso Paper gives, so I just used it here. So my key is um, turquoise is art slash ephemera, pink is creative writing because I've been really loving writing my poetry in my commonplace book. Um, blue is definitions, so if I don't know a word I'll write the definition in my book. Uh, green is notes, notes is kind of like vague but not vague enough where it's confusing to me like i very much in my head know what comes under notes um like i'll explain it when we come across an entry and purple is quotes and then because i use this uniball like multi-ink pen uh this is the hobinichi 2024 one um i actually use red and blue so Blue ink means it's like my own commentary slash analysis to something else, if that makes sense. And then red it just means it's important, like kind of like a highlight where it's like this really stood out to me or this is really important. So the first thing I wrote, so as like normally what I do is like I write a little note. Um in my like commonplace books when I start them. I didn't do it in this one, I just didn't feel like I needed to. But what I did do was I actually wrote this in my previous commonplace book, this one. But because I loved it so much, it was like one of those things that I wanted to carry around with me a lot longer than the like field notes would have allowed me to. So it's called 17 learnings from 17 years of the marginalian which is like this literature kind of magazine and i just really loved like the wisdom of every like advice in that article so i wanted to carry it with me longer so I wrote it as the first thing in here. <sighs> Talking a lot more than I have recently. Um, so for example, green is notes. Although, can you even tell with green? But I read this article recently and like I highly, highly recommend if you love linguistics, sociology, psychology, um, you might love this article, it's called The Geometry of Other People and it looks at something I just never thought about which is, which is like spatial metaphors and how that reflects how we use like spatial references to map out like social things it, it's very like it sounds very complicated but like for example why do we say people are close to us when they could be far away but we don't 
mean close as in physical proximity we mean in social proximity like your best friend is close to you but your best friend could live on the other side of the world and it's like well, why do we do that and like the science behind it and it's really interesting so <laughs> i wrote notes because this is an article but i'm making notes in it and i think for articles i would do like a imaginary margin just because it's a lot more useful to have a margin personally for me when i'm writing something like an article into my book and then so this is like like for example this is a very like chunky article it's from aeon um and it took up like five like that many pages five pages if i tried to write this in field notes i would probably finish the whole book so it's just the freedom that i can write way more and like for example i printed off these artworks that i really liked and I had the space which I wouldn't have had in my field notes and that's been so freeing so I've been really enjoying common placing and I just want to be with my commonplace book a lot longer and I want to write without feeling like I'm gonna finish it so <laughs> that is an update also like some people have said that the they find the lines too dark. Personally for me, like it doesn't bother me. Something that I find strange, and it's not like strange enough to put me off the book, but it's like I don't understand why, is I don't know if you can see, but like the lines don't connect. So it's like why did they make that choice to leave like a 0.1mm gap? kind of looks like when you put something through the printer and then the ink runs out so it doesn't like print properly like that's what it reminds me of and it's not anything that like bothers me to the point where like the book is not functional it's just like why but yeah like i really love this book i love how flat it lays i love that there's a lot of pages and it's compact um I can still put it in like my cover like this and it works so and it's not too much bulk so yeah that's an update of my commonplace I hope it was helpful I think I'll put in a clip at some point of me like opening this but I'm really enjoying it and it's so nice to finally like have a book that I can use and not worry about like the pages running out but yeah if you come and place let me know what you come and place in and thank you for watching